Hi kids, do you like bike bibs? Wanna see me stick nine inch straps to reach one of my eyelids? Wanna copy me and do exactly what I did? <sighs> Yo, welcome back to the channel boys and girls and welcome to 2023. In today's video, we are doing an overview and a review on these bike bibs courtesy of Red White Apparel. We're gonna be talking about um, the details on these bibs and I'm gonna give you my thoughts and let you know whether or not you should spend your hard earned money on uh, these bibs. So a quick background story. So a couple of months ago, a nice gentleman by the name of Yuva, um, I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, uh, but a gentleman by the name of Yuva from Red White Apparel reached out to me courtesy of Instagram. Uh, he said he liked my channel, he liked the way I sort of presented products, and he wanted to send me out a pair of bibs to review and offer my thoughts. And of course I was interested because I had heard a little bit about Red White Apparel from some of the other YouTubers um, last year, so I was happy to get my hands on a pair of these bibs. So first and foremost, who is Red White Apparel? Well, they're based in Singapore. Um, they started back in 2014, so they've been around for about eight to nine years. And what's interesting about this particular cycling apparel brand is they only focus on bibs. Um, so that means that they can focus all their time, their energy and resources on offering the best pair and the best value of bibs that they possibly can. And kudos again uh, to Yuvo, be Yuva because I'm pretty sure he's a one man uh, show over there, at least on the uh, customer facing side of things. I think he does the marketing, he does the customer service, I think he does the warranty, warranty claims, all that stuff. And yeah, I can only imagine that that must take a lot of time and energy to be running your own uh, brand, especially in the world of cycling. Now the model I have here, this is uh, from Red, White and Peril. This is their flagship model, um, which is named uh, The Bib. And at the time of this video, um, these pair of bibs retail for $140 USD. Now, as far as shipping goes, uh, shipping only took about a week from the Far East, which is really nice considering um, when you're ordering things all the way from China or wherever the factory is, um, sometimes it can take upwards of two to three weeks. So kudos to Red, White & Peril for being able to ship these out to me in only a week's time. One cool thing with Red, White & Peril, and this is something that you don't always find uh, in brands out in the Far East, is they offer a crash replacement uh, program. So if you happen to crash your bike either while you've just been out riding or racing, which if you're in cat 5 you're probably going to crash a lot and you just happen to damage your bibs red white apparel will offer a 50 percent uh, crash uh, replacement uh, all you have to do is just work it out on their website submit your claim and pictures and then they will get the ball rolling to uh, send out your replacement bibs at 50 percent off which i think is a really uh, nice touch and i do wish that a lot more of the uh, mid-level priced brands um, do this because you expect that for uh, the brands like rafa where you're spending you know three or four hundred dollars on a pair of bibs but you don't necessarily expect that for a pair of bibs that cost 140 dollars usd now about the bibs themselves um the bibs um at least as far as what i can tell based on the uh the tag inside of the bibs they're made in romania um they use according to the website uh, they use a proprietary chamois design Italian Lycra, silicone grippers, all the usual things you would expect for a quality uh, pair of bibs. And this is um, also really cool, especially at this uh, price point. And just in the hand, these bibs feel really, really good. I don't have anything to complain about the material, just the overall feel of the bibs, uh, they feel really, really good. Next up, let's talk about the fit. So after a few measurements uh, for my bibs before I placed my order, which included my height, my weight, my hip and glute circumference, and my thigh tan line circumference, I'm not kidding you, I was recommended a size medium uh, regular. Now for reference, I am six feet tall, and depending on where I am in the season, um, I weigh anywhere between 164 to 170 pounds. And even though I'm pretty sure I have sprinter's legs, even though I'm not that good of a sprinter, um, even with my thighs, um, the size medium fits really well um, for what they are. Next up, let's talk about the likes and dislikes, or maybe I should just say the quirks. And I'm, I'll start first uh, with the quirks. Uh, so the bibs were a little bit more snug um, directly out of the box than I was accustomed to <laughs> particularly in the crotch area um, I guess that's why they're Asian size <laughs> um, however um, after a couple of wears and washes the bibs fit exceptionally well and that's really the only quirk um, that I have uh, with these bibs and this moves me on to some of the things that I really like about the bibs um, so after the bibs have been broken in these are some of the best fitting bibs that I own uh, currently at the time of this video I really like the length of the bibs I like the inseam and you could tell there was a lot of attention uh, spent just 
in regard to the overall sort of um, quality and contour of the bibs themselves. It's, it's kind of difficult to explain, uh, but if you see the bibs hanging up um, on a hanger, you can tell that they are a lot more uh, contoured and they're not as saggy as uh, some of the uh, cheaper cycling bibs on the market. And you would expect that um, at this price point. And I also really like the silicone grippers. Um, they work exceptionally well, um, especially when you're um, on the trainer for hours and hours on end. You want to have the confidence that the, the bibs you're wearing are going to stay in place, especially when it comes to uh, the legs and the inseam. You want those to stay in place and the silicone grippers do an excellent job of that. Next up, let's talk about performance because this is the most important aspect to me personally. It doesn't matter how much or how little you spend on bibs. The bibs just have to work and they have to perform as expected. Now, I've been testing these bibs now for about two months and this is why it's taken me a while to make this video is because I wanted to make sure I had plenty of hours on the trainer to really put these bibs to the test so that I can really offer um, my, my general experiences on the bike. Now, all of the miles that I put in on these bibs, they have been on the indoor uh, trainer. Now, as you guys know, if you do spend any time on indoor trainer or on Zwift, you know that being on a static trainer, um, you are more prone to a lot more sweat and potential saddle discomfort. And I would argue that a solid two hour ride on Zwift can be just as challenging both mentally and physically as a three to four hour ride outdoors because you're constantly pedaling for two hours. There's no brakes. Uh, so everything has to be really dialed in. Also keep in mind that even the best pair of bibs on the market, they cannot cover over or compensate for a poor bike fit or even using the wrong saddle for your body type. Now on the contrary, a great pair of bibs plus a really good bike fit can allow you to ride your bike both indoors and outdoors for hours and hours at a time without any discomfort. So <laughs> with all of that being said, I've done races on Zwift in these bibs. I've even done several three plus hour endurance rides um, with these bibs on Zwift, everything in between. And yes, I can say these bibs are really good. These are some of the best and most comfortable bibs that I currently own at the time of this video. I do want to add the caveat though that my bike fit has been really, really dialed in because I got a professional bike fit about a year and a half ago. And the saddles that I use for my body type personally are extremely comfortable. So between the bike fit and between the saddles, my overall setup is really comfortable. And even on long rides, I can be just as comfortable uh, with a $60 pair of bibs. Now, I know that's probably not going to be most people who are watching this uh, channel, but I just want to say that everything needs to be working well in order to have the optimal and comfortable fit on your saddle, both indoors and outdoors. Now, you might be saying to yourself, well, what if you don't need endurance bibs, um, something that you can wear for three to even upwards of 10 hour uh, rides? What if you just only need a pair of bibs for one to two hours? Well, thankfully, red, white uh, apparel has got you covered on that front as well because they offer uh, what they call their entry level bibs on their website uh, that only retail for $85 uh, USD. So it's nice that they've thought about all of this as far as both budget and just the, the needs and requirements of a cyclist depending on how much uh, they train. I also just like just that the, the chamois itself, it just doesn't slide around like I have in even some of the cheaper ones because just the fit and the contour of uh, the chamois, it's excellent. The padding is really good and it just makes the overall experience um, even indoors just comfortable even for three plus hours at a time. Quick side note, it's kind of weird that I'm wearing this Loon sweater and then behind me I have these Elite Drive wheels and then I have my Specialized LA Sprint uh, frame as well. I'm basically like a brand walking contradiction right now. Anyway, so in closing, should you spend $140 on a pair of these flagship bibs from Red White Apparel? Well, if you have your bike fit and your saddle dialed in, if you do a lot of endurance efforts, which you should, because right now in the off season, this is the time you should be getting in all your base miles, or if you do a lot of all day gravel rides where you're out there in the countryside exploring for five, six, or even seven, eight hours at a time, or if you just need that one pair of go-to bibs that you know are gonna always be comfortable no matter the circumstances, then yes, absolutely, these are definitely worth the price and they definitely is a brand, Red, White & Pearl, that you should be considering in 2023. So I'm gonna end the video right here, guys. Um, a big thanks to Red, White & Pearl for working with me to uh, make this video and send out these bibs. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down below. And I will check you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.